you responded to mridula mukherji you in correction you, so far as the facts are concerned no, no. things started on 1st and 2nd of november post 31st you responded you to mridula mukherji saying you we are not testimonies manakshi you, you that does not matter mridula you responded to mridula mukherji say by saying we are not trying to exploit one icon against the other you have been unable to give me a clear answer to my question why you did the same politics in the run up to 2014 manocha are you manocha sorry to come to you last no, are you I, I, uh, do you I feel do you feel meenakshi lekhi has been able to explain clear, her point clearly I enough a very clear answer the history of india did not recognize its icons and sacrifice of those you who can, matter you can correct the history of, of india but that does not mean that you use it politically i condemn it with so all my might no sir okay. manoj ja is responding to meenakshi lekhi he says he is not satisfied with our reply manoj ja The city ideas are politics. Manoj Jha, please. Manoj Jha, please. Manoj Jha, please. The ideas by which I, 67 years Arnav. of the quality of this country. Arnav. Manoj Jha, first, and after that we'll go to others. Manoj Jha, please. I want paradigm shift to happen. Ah, uh, Arnav. That is the politics I want to play. Ah, uh, Arnav. Ah, uh, coming. coming at the fag end of your debate i believe that today and please underline it i am not speaking as a as a spokesperson of a political party i am speaking as a teacher as a student and a citizen of this country i tell you i have fondest memory of nehru and patel as, as somebody who studied in through bihar state textbook and suddenly find for the first time in my life in my imagination in my memory that today is the day when i find the uh, 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 an ideology which specializes in putting living people against each other they can do it with national heroes i am upset with that number 2 84 i can never forget i was 17 years old then and i i i i in, in fact we were uh, say i will plainly tell you anti indira gandhi dictatorial attitude but we realized 84 is one of the darkest chapter as sir manakshi ji rightly said a genocide as much of a genocide as 2002 but today is the day i find that this party if it believes in it believes in iconizing patel it has to do beyond symbolism it has to delete have a delete button for its politics for its affiliates you cannot simply have a mega show a spectacle and at the end of the day you actually brutalize memory it's an onslaught on our memory and i tell you maybe we are debating it today but we are playing with a dangerous game if you are starting having an onslaught on memory on a collective memory tomorrow your nation will ask you hundreds of fundamental questions very uncomfortable in nature and i think amit shah ji or modi ji cannot handle that i think they should read history they there were differences between these leaders what we call and miras enables and horribles they were there but they could contain that gandhi had differences with gandhi himself nehru used to write letters against himself with a pseudo name there were differences between patel of 1928 and patel of 1940 what kind of people what kind of debate are we allowing it to happen i mean this is Absolutely. counter factual history mirdula ji would understand counter factual counter factual argument is a good point in history but counter factual argument mridula mukherji mridula mukherji mridula mukherji after that the counter mridula mukherji mridula mukherji to historians mridula mukherji first after that to you minakshi lekhi mridula mukherji was responding first so i'm going to go to her first yes mridula mukherji mridula mukherji yeah, i was saying that i want to i want to completely endorse what manoj jha has said and i also want to say that i also completely agree with what her tosh bal has said i think the significance of this day in terms of the massacre of the sikhs all over india is something that needs to be talked about and something that needs to be accepted and we all need to feel ashamed of it so i think as a historian all the parts of the history have to be looked at together we do not valorize one and downgrade the other and i think it's extremely important as manoj just said that 
what is this kind of absurd stories that we are writing now you know bringing in patel pitting him against uh, this thing next is going to be subhash bose we know we know the lineup anybody who had differences with nehru of any kind is now a favorite no but no 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 one Bahasa second no no ma miss miss mukherjee let no no miss mukherjee miss mukherjee miss mukherjee miss mukherjee why don't you look at it the other way round no miss mukherjee why don't you look at it the other way round sorry to interrupt you there you say today that everybody who had problems with nehru is now being lionized why don't you answer a more fundamental question that unless you were on the right side of the nehru gandhi family you did not matter in the writing of indian history because you know you are a very well known historian but then you would be aware of the fact that consistently there has been a obsession with the Gan nehru gandhi family will you deny that that there has been a partisan and biased and prejudiced approach history, towards the writing of the indian history, history? That we have written I'm sorry I I plead I plead not guilty but not the history we have written really? we've written about Patel we've written about Rajendra Prasad Rajagopal Acharya Bhagat Singh Surya Sen Beyond the communist congress socialist and do you believe do you believe, do you believe do you do you believe you can't dispute no. that do you do you Very believe no you can't dismiss miss miss you please read the book and say okay then my question to you is much like Mirdula Mukherjee simply tell me how when an indian student picks up a textbook no one second when an indian student picks up a textbook today how much does he read how much does he read about indira gandhi's role in the emergency and the excesses of the emergency what is the balancing off of indira gandhi's negative role in indian they democracy do. they do how much do they read about that how much do they know about that they how much of an emphasis is made on that they do one second on the fact in fact even the even the ncrt book on political science the history book and don't write about post independence but the NCRT okay so ms ms mukherjee ms mukherjee tell me honestly how much of a role okay so the question to you is ms okay so ms mukherjee tell me what if somebody asks you a more difficult question what was the position of the indian national congress right on the circumstances that led to the hanging of bhagat singh how much of a detail do indian students read about it no no we do we no, do have no what exactly was oh, well, let's go deeper what let's go deeper no no these are not pushed under let's go deeper no no these are not pushed under the carpet that thing a terrorist these are discussed and debated and looked at very objectively miss 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 mukherji are you miss miss mukherji while you while you have a no no what's it miss mukherji miss miss mukherji may i just make a point may i just may i just make a point let us not visit the sins of the post nehru generations on nehru miss mukherji that's a defensive argument you know while you have a point when you say Very you should right. not pit national Very icons true. against Very each true. other Arna. you must you must with respect miss mukherji accept the unpalatable truth unpalatable truth and Arna. mr kesavan i'm coming to you the unpalatable truth that the government of india run principally by the congress party for the most number of years since independence has been besotted with the nehru gandhi dynasty and putting the imprint Untrue. of the nehru gandhi dynasty everywhere not just in textbooks but in instructional material and also everywhere on government schemes names universities tax taxpayer government schemes everywhere there has been the imprint of the nehru gandhi dynasty so if you say the sins of the past Arnab. should not be repeated those are the Arnab. sins of the past those are the sins of the past can i those are the sins of the past miss mukherjee crk sawan crk sawan crk sawan today is this ma'am let me complete the issue today is this arnab i am really amazed the way this debate has been framed today Why? this is a ruse by the bjp who are devoid of any history any legacy in the freedom movement you take any founding father they never stand for what the founding father stood for whether it's pluralism or inclusiveness and today they come try to you know divide divide the Congress Party and the whole freedom movement and drive a wedge. It's a pathetic effort. The people look at this. What was? What did? Okay, so my question to you is: At the founding day of the Congress Party, on the founding, on the on the hundred and the Congress Party talks about Bharatiya. There is a fundamental disconnect here. We want inclusiveness. We want pluralism. BJP wants to divide. So what? The Bharatiya is only around the Nehru Gandhi family. Arnab, no, no, Arnab, let me, no, no, Arnab, get, let me give you one example. Sardar Patel. There are senior history people here. They'll appreciate the point. You're an informed person. Please listen me out. 
Sardar Patel was, you know, the, you know, he was chairman of the committee which drafted, you know, the minority topic in the Constituent Assembly. He introduced Clause 18, which became Article 29 Mr. and 30. Article 29 and 30 is the protection of the interests of Arnab. minorities and preserving the... Artosh, Arnab. Artosh, Arnab. please. Arnab. Artosh is countering Arnab. CR Arnab. Case Arnab. Yeah. Artosh, Arso, Mr. Kesavan, yeah. given to Arnab. others for a while. Arnab. Artosh Singh Bal is countering you. Artosh Singh Bal, I'm letting him come in. Artosh. Artosh. BJP is the antithesis of Artosh. Don't keep politicizing it. Artosh. Today. Today of all days is not the day the Congress party should be talking about inclusiveness. It is on this day that the Congress party proved that its legacy of rhetoric and actual belief on the ground are separated by a huge margin. Uh, the party institutionally participated in mass murder and it has not admitted this yet, it has not apologized for it, Arthur it has made no amends for it. Arthur to Arthur hear Arthur inclusiveness Arthur today no. on the Arthur face of somebody Arthur like Arthur K7 Arthur today Arthur is Arthur highly Arthur problematic. Arthur black day. No, 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 Artoji, whether it was Manmohan Singh, Manmohan Singh, so please, 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 please do not talk of inclusiveness. Say, for what happened in history? No, no, they, talk, they, have, re they have openly expressed regret. What happened in regret? In you, you participated in this violence and you are saying you expressed regret? Shrimati Sonia no, Gandhi and Manmohan Singh came in after 1984. Your party participated in this violence. Regret. But the BJP is trying to politicize it. BJP has a history, whether it's you know, on the assassination of Gandhi ji. Yes, so Mr. Mr. Kesavan, Mr. since Mr. Kesavan, Mr. Kesavan, when you speak about the assassination of Gandhi ji, nobody will disagree with you. And Digvijay Singh makes a point this morning that he says we pay homage to Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel who united India and goes on to say and banned the RSS for inciting communal violence which led to the assassination of Gandhiji. But what about the violence of 1984? And what about the many tickets you wanted to give Jagdish Titler? And what about the many Congress leaders who face cases abroad but you don't have the courage to take positions against them and they are members of your party's highest committees? And while you enthusiastically participate in a debate on Patel versus Indira Gandhi, which proves the suspicion that you would use even this occasion, to lionize your leaders, no, 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 I want to ask you today no, no, how no, much detail are you willing to go no, no. into into 1984 and the emergency? How much? The BJP How much? is not the Congress party. And how much are you willing to say? Are you willing to say that in the history textbooks of the future, let it be written, let it be written that while leaders who met the HRD minister, why don't you ask the question to the RSS leaders who met the HRD minister? Your answer can't be political. Sankarshan. Yeah. Sankarshan. Sankar Chen. May I, may I, may I, no, no, may I no, 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 what's it? May I, may I ask okay, Meenakshi. Okay, Meenakshi, you want a counter question? Go inside. Okay, let me, let me just correct everybody on the panel who's repeatedly saying Gandhi's assassination led to ban on RSS. Let me clarify that ban was for one year. Post that, Justice R.P. Kapoor's committee cleared it because there was no evidence. It was a wrongly put ban. So ask a question, why was the ban lifted? And post the ban was lifted, why Sardar Patel gave credence to RSS called them patriots? In 1963, the ban. of all the people, the Nehru himself called upon the RSS to participate in Republic Day Parade. I think once for all, this nonsense no, no. must stop. The second part is, no, no, I, me, though I agree with you, Mr. Hartosh Bal, but I think Gopal the unity of country should be celebrated on a day we when it is hurt the most. Like Police Day is celebrated Arnab, as Sacrifice Day. BJP is trying day. to take a convenient stand here. BJP is taking a convenient stand. You know, I am not let's taking let's any convenient stand. I am only Mr. putting Gorwalkar, facts on Mr. record Gorwalkar, about Gorwalkar. which you have you know, been Mr. lying Gorwalkar. historically. No, no, our, and our you continue to lie in date. It's very clear. You lie about no, no, something that happened in 1948-49 in 2014. Non-Hindus have to be... You are liars. That is what the RSS said. No, I forget, we are not debating what was Golbalkar's thought. We are debating why, whether why, why there is assassination, RSS was different? responsible. The answer is no. Mr. Kesavan, Mr. Kesavan, I want to give you one more example of your obsession. And Mridula Mukherjee says tonight, no, no, Mridula Mukherjee says tonight that in our history books, Mridula Mukherjee says tonight that in our history books, 
There is no bias towards the Nehru Gandhi family. Well, Ms. Mukherjee, no, I, I, I'd like to ask you if our history books also mention the fact that 15 national parks and sanctuaries, 74 <coughs> roads, buildings, 39 hospitals, 6 airports, 98 universities, 52 state government programs and 12 central government programs and projects are named after Rajiv Gandhi. That's not history. That's not history. How is that not history, Mr. Jha? What I've asked you is a fact that is ignored in history. And what is ignored in history is that's also a, something which reflection. can be questioned. That's a poor reflection on the party. How is it a poor reflection? How is it a poor reflection? I, I stated a fact. memory, shattered what? memories. And I, I tell you, the kind of games we are playing today, Mr. human civilization Mr. has not developed that art to attend to shattered memories. Mr. Jha, you know, when we talk about whose achievements yeah. are greater or lesser than whose, 450 government programs, schemes and institutions as per RTI application are named after the Gandhi Nehru family. 200 of them are named after Rajiv Gandhi. I mean, what is going on? And yet you will come and tell me there's been no obsession with the Nehru Gandhi family. And of course, Hartosh is right. At the end no, of Arnav, all this, the Congress leave, party leave is the Nehru temerity. Out of it. At the end of all Arnav, this, leave Asankar Nehru Shad. out of it. At the end of I'm all this. I'm defending Nehru. At the end of I'm all this. I'm just defending Nehru, nobody Mr. else. Mr. Jha. I'm just defending Mr. Nehru. Mr. Jha, at the end of all this, the Congress nobody party. Nobody else. Don't at the end of all, Nehru. Allow me. Nehru at the end of all this, Sankar Shen, the Congress party has the temerity to say you are not focusing on Indira Gandhi enough. You are not celebrating her death anniversary enough. What moral grounding do you have? You are denigrating an entire generation. We are in love with Nehru. Stopping at half logic, not going to the next question. What kind of what kind of role did the BJP and the RSS play in the freedom movement? I mean, you speak what about Indira Ji, Rajiv Ji, not Nehru. Well, uh, <laughs> there, 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 is, there is something beyond the family, Mr. Kesavan. Wake up to the reality. Sankarshan, Sankarshan, closing in on the debate in five minutes. Sankarshan and Kumar Ketkar coming in next. Sankarshan. Sankarshan, of course, both sides are politicizing. But don't complain there hasn't been enough focus on the Gandhi family. That's the most laughable thing that anybody can say. Yes, please, Sankarshan. Sankarshan, please. Arnab, you know, some of us uh, came into journalism around this time 30 years ago and 31st October and what followed was a horrific debut for a lot of us to make in, in this profession. Uh, it, it, is, it is a day that nobody will and should forget and I think Hartosh has made a valid point but what has gone on on this show, despite what uh, Hartosh said, is proof of how cynically uh, these legacies are, are there to be exploited by, on both sides. On both sides. They're, they're, they're just staring at each other. And, and you know, and, and, I, I, and I see no virtue on any side in, in, in this thing. And I, and I, and I have, unfortunately, after 30-35 after years in journalism, come to believe that we should not expect uh, such virtues to be, political parties to be imbued with such virtue. It's a very unfortunate thing for me to say, but it's the truth. That's true. But one... I have nothing else actually, to say. Kumar actually, I will agree with Shankar Singh, but more so with Mr. Jha and Ms. Mukherjee, because I think they are putting history and we are talking politics. The, and we are not clear whether we are discussing politics or history and politicization of history figures. I think they are I talking agree. history and they have showed that their historical textbooks, actually what she has written, is actually contains everything about Bhagat Singh, Subhash Chandra Bose, Patel and Nehru. And yep. that's a fact. And same with Mr. Jha Singh, and I think we are converting the old history, historical icons into today's politics, which has become so ugly and divisive yes. and communal and polarizing. Uh, and suddenly BJP realizing in, not in 1980, not as Jansang in 1950, suddenly in last four years they realized that Vallabhai Patel was a great man and trying to project him as their leader. I think yeah, but these are all bad, a, no, no, but bad it, and disgusting but, politics. But Mr. Ketkar, certain, Very bad. certain... I am not defending certain, no, 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 but certain, I am not talking about no, Nehru, no, no, I am not defending uh, Congress, uh, 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 I am merely uh, uh, saying... Uh, uh, it does not reduce no. simple, straightforward history of freedom movement sure. into kind but of today's politics, which is so ugly. But I think, I, 
I think history what also. What is ugly? Celebrating Sardar Patel's birthday is ugly. No. I think you need who to know is, the I mean, this is again, people. This is who again twisting and distorting today. the arguments. No, don't have, a, that, uh, don't have a binary who argument. Icon no, 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 watch. No, not twisting. You are twisting. I never said twisting. that. What is ugly? I never even you indirectly said ugly? that. Why, why are you trying to twist the argument? Celebrating Sardar Patel. I never said celebrating Patel. Are you making it ugly? No, I merely asked you, did you celebrate in 1980? Did you celebrate in 1950? You did not. And now you want to approach. I have two questions. That's all. I'm really saying. I'm really saying. I have. Mr. I have two Mr. questions. Mr. I have. I have. One second. Watch. Watch. One. One minute. Just a minute. Twenty years. Mister. One second. One second. Now there are just two questions I have. I expect straight answers. Tonight, if you are watching this news, we had a long debate, and you've seen the Congress and the BJP essentially there. While the Congress complains, you're not focusing on Indira Gandhi. They also say, you know, Patel was us. Patel was us. Patel was us. We want to do for, so much for Patel, etc. Now, now one minute. One question I have for both sides, for Congress and BJP. In 2002. Right, there was a task force set up to set to for a Sardar Patel memorial by the NDA government. Okay, for 12 years later, the fact is the Vajpayee government did nothing. The Congress government did even less. It is so ironical. No, no, it is so ironical that both sides are today. No, both sides want to suddenly own Vaj Patel, but they will not explain to us why they did nothing all these so years, and they expect people not to ask this question. You did not act with the last two thousand Yes, Mr. Kesavan. National Museum was inaugurated. The Sardar Patel Memorial was inaugurated during the Congress time. Why are you cherry picking? Who named the Sardar oh, Sarawar? Oh, there we go. Who named the National there Music Academy in Hyderabad? Who, even in last year, the Congress Party invited Mr. Narendra Modi, the Chief Minister, to inaugurate the National Memorial Museum there. Why are we conveniently forgetting that? Why are you not answering my question? There was a Sardar Patel Memorial Task Force in 2002, yes or no? What did you do? You were in power for 10 years after that. True or false? The quest, who inaugurated the Sardar Patel Memorial in 2000? My second question. By the principles and ideas of Sardar My Patel. second question is to Professor Mridula Mukherjee. Professor Mridula Mukherjee, yeah. you say that history is fair and there has been no, you know, there is, are, are, you cannot say that history books are written, you know, with, uh, with any absence of balance. If a young person comes to you and asks you today, Professor Mukherjee, where is the sense of criticism in the writing of our history? If a young person says that Rajiv Gandhi got the Bharat Ratna in 1991, but what did his government do when 3,000 people died when he was Prime Minister in the aftermath of Indira Gandhi's assassination and when he made the most callous statement in decades that when a big tree falls, the earth is bound to shake a little? That a young person, Mr. Kesavan, let me complete. A young person will not expect, will, will expect a clear answer to where that sense of reality is in the writing of our history. Or is there a sense of entitlement instead because you are a Gandhi and a Prime Minister, you have to be given a Bharat Ratna. This generation is more questioning Ms. Mukherjee. They expect, and, and how much detail have we gone into the destructive role played by Indira Gandhi during the emergency when every single democratic institution of this country, including the press, was targeted. And the people of this country still remember with a sense of outrage what happened. Where is the sense of emphasis? Because the writing of history, Ms. Mukherjee, must ensure that the mistakes of the past are not repeated in the future. You know, Arnab, I think uh, I can answer you in complete honesty and say that there are any number of works, not one, and there is no one when you say, is there a history? There's no one. But there are any number of works in history and political science which have gone into all these issues in a very critical way. I don't know why you are under the impression that the majority is, in fact, I would say the majority of the work is very critical. You would find very few people who would no. even no. dare no. to defend, even where a defense is possible. I think uh, what? you somehow got a wrong impression. No, about the, about the, about the anti-Sikh riots in which 3,000 people killed and what was the role of the Congress government then? Very critical and objective R history. Role of the Congress government? Including, including us. Role of the Congress government in the riots in which 3,000 people were killed? 
in 1984. Well, it depends on who's written on that. Well, exactly. That's, that is the nub of the that. issue. Depends on who's written on that. But inside the government it is still not written. Yeah, people have written very critical words. Arnab, can I come in here? Always does. Certain intellectual stature of looking at things objectively. That five years later, you will be asking the same question on how it's still being written in this country. On why the ban was lifted. I hope these questions will be asked five years later. Well, I think... I want to tell you I'm not being allowed to answer. Yes, Ms. Mukherjee, please. Please answer. Or Mr. Nehru's own work needs to be Can I answer, please? Yes, Ms. Mukherjee. Yes, because Golwalkar gave a written undertaking to Sardar Patel that the RSS would henceforth not take part in politics. It would be a cultural and a social organization. And that God's truth for you. If you like, you can come anytime. And, 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 and I will read document. out what Sardar Patel had to say in 1949. No. On September, 13th September 1949. And by the way, one last point. No, we'll go into that later. We'll go into that later, but I just want to correct CR Kesavan on one thing. CR Kesavan, just one thing, I'll correct you, and I don't want to argue with you on this. You know, you began the debate today by saying that the provision of when I asked you why was he given the Bharat Ratna in 1991 as an afterthought, you said, you said, you said that the provision of posthumous awards happened in 1966. A minute. Convention, please, and don't distort my word. Now. I said convention of posthumous. Yeah, so Mr. Kesavan, Mr. Kesavan, the convention, provision or convention of posthumous awards for Bharat Ratna was instituted in 1966. Sardar Patel was given the Bharat Ratna posthumously in 19. 1991, therefore 25 no, years not, after the provision for the posthumous awards was adopted. You distort. You distort again. 1936 was Shastriji in harness. 1976, same year, Mr. Kamar Ajay. 1988, MGR, same year. There was a convention of not giving it to people posthumously long way back. That's why Mr. Tilak or Gokhale were not given. Mr. As Mr. Mr. Patel, Kesavan, Sardar so, Patel was given the award 25 years after the provision or convention of posthumous awards was adopted. I think I rest my case there. That the only the positive of this entire debate that's emerging is not the politics of it, but the hope that whether in the writing, rewriting, or whatever the narratives that are presented of contemporary India in the future, it will not represent only the obsession of one side. But at the same time, to pit person against person isn't a good idea as well. Thank you very much for joining me on that debate on the news tonight.